thank the committee because uh, we were among the last uh, to uh, uh, present uh, our memorandum. As you all probably know, and it is good to remind you, we are living in a county which has a population of about 2.7 million people as of as, 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 as today, today. It was 2.4 in 2019. It is about 2.7 and above. Now, these are people where 60%, over half, are living in rural areas, in urban areas. When we say urban areas, you have to remember there is a lot of services that come with it. Correction of garbage, water, fire, and so on and so forth. It's not like uh, living in, uh, uh, in uh, rural areas. We are also the second most populous county in the whole country after Nairobi. We are actually the fifth largest contributor to the country's GDP. That is not, does not commensurate with the amount of money that we receive. As an outgoing governor, I can tell you that the shared revenue that we receive can hardly uh, actually uh, provide any service uh, to Kiambu. We also do have a disadvantage that we are not covered with some of other uh, sources of revenue, including uh, not getting as much grants as has been the case. And out of the population that we are talking about, and considering that about half a million people uh, who work in Nairobi actually spend the night in Kiambu, therefore demanding more services, this caucus met and decided to therefore go and make that presentation to the National Daro Committee creating additional counties from the current Kiambu County. As you are aware, there has been a proposal and presented to the National Assembly of creating about, I think, about 10 or 11 ad additional counties. And they are all there, they are in our document. But none of those was Kiambu. Despite what I have talked about, uh, the population, uh, despite all the challenges that we are talking about, and therefore, uh, we felt that, uh, that it was, the, you know, the onus was uh, on us as uh, the readers, as the caucus, to go and make that presentation. And we made uh, a, a presentation requesting that the current Kiambu County is divided into three. So of that population, as at now, is close to a million people. It was 820 in uh, uh, 20, 2019. So about close to a million, 900 to a million. The second county that we are proposing to be hived off of the current Kiambu County is Kiambu East uh, to comprise of Kiamba with a population of uh, 240,000 uh, uh, 240, people. Uh, Kiambu total, uh, sorry, Kiambu, Gidongori, a rural constituency which has 371,000 people the total as at 2019 was 920,000. Today it will be 1.1 uh, million people. The third one is to be called Kiambu West, comprising of uh, Kikuyu constituency, uh, Rimuru, Rari, um, and Kabete. As at 2019, the total population was 700. Because of the influx that is going on towards Deya, we estimate that this again is approaching. Uh, 900 to uh, 1 million and those were the basis on of our request so we made that presentation we shall be following up because the memorandum is there we are uh, as as, as uh, one of the members has said we are urging our people to see that this is a motion that is going to be uh, forwarded and we need to follow it up uh, so that we can uh, benefit from the resources that are coming uh, to the nation that the division of revenue goes through constituencies. CDF, Dio Inagawa, Development, uh, Kitty. Na tunaona ikigawa na mna hiyo, sisi tunakuwa tume, 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 uh, uh, tume umia sana. So maombi yetu kwa National Dialogue Committee ilikuwa tupewe seven new constituencies katika uh, county ya Kiambu. Na hizi constituencies, moja itaenda dhika, uh, ingine yende juja, ingine bili yende ruiru, moja yende kiamba, moja yende kabete, na moja yende katikati ya kikuyu na, na, na rimuru.
ili waweze kugawana hiyo hiyo population ikifanywa hivyo ugavi wa pesa utakuwa at least hautakuwa iko vile tungependa but it is it will, it will be much much better than the situation we are having now ile situation tuko naye sasa is such that when our, our children are getting bursary some of our children get as little as 2000 shillings of, uh, of of bursary to go to secondary school to us it is shameful it is very very shameful when we are, we are doing this uh, article 204 uh, of the constitution and its attendant uh, sub articles are very clear on what the equalization fund is about and how it should be used and that is primarily for the provision of uh, water electricity health services roads etc to areas that are disadvantaged because of maybe the allocation it, there's this uh, perception that uh, kiambu is a very rich area. It is true that we have a lot of uh, Arab land, but also within Kiabu, we have areas that are marginalized because of the allocation, because of their patents, and therefore, therefore are not able uh, to, to compete e uh, effectively uh, from an economic point of view. That is why we are pitching for equalization fund, so that some areas, and I can name some, some areas that are totally disadvantaged, and in fact, some of them are already included the gazettemen that gazetted the assos uh, some time back. We have areas like, uh, like in Alari, we have areas like uh, the escarpment and Kejabi. These areas are to a large extent assol areas. We have Kikuyu, where in, in, we have areas in Kikuyu like uh, Karai, Nashu. In Limuru we have Deya. In Thika we have Goliba, Gatuanyaga. In Juja we have Morera and Kalimoni areas. These areas have a cumulated population of more than a half a million people who experience exactly the same conditions that are experienced in those other marginalized areas. And we want to see the formula that is uh, used to, uh, to, to equalize uh, funds being used and including uh, these areas that we have mentioned in the Kiambu County. Our grievances was hard yesterday. It is not a question of whether our grievances are hard or not. I can tell you from where we sat, we got consensus from across the two bipartisan party. So our, our proposal was presented, it was very widely accepted, and we are hoping and praying that in the next step we shall be there to present uh, more details of our proposal. The, the, the fact of the matter is that this country has entered into a, di a national dialogue, okay, the national dialogue comprises of other issues, so it is important for us to have faith. It is important for us to think uh, and wish uh, everybody uh, well, so that issues such as the ones that we are talking about can get an entry for consideration. Directed business professionals and all of those to discuss development issues. When time we non-partisan on politics. When time comes, you know. When time comes, we will come and tell you about the political issues. But today, we are, because we, it is so, so important that this caucus discusses about development of Kiambu because that has taken a back step for a long time. By the way, those are statistics of 2019. Right now, we are talking about over 30% growth. And it is shooting higher and higher. People are growing, people are coming to Kiambu, and when they come, they come and live in Kiambu. Even those in Nairobi, they all stay in Kiambu. We are asking for a division of county into three segments. We are asking for additional constituencies so that we can get more allocation. Kindly, kindly go through this document. Go through it and don't criticize it in regard to party affiliations. This is to the members of parliament that are elected kindly. Wanjiko is watching you. The voter is watching you. You know this is good for, uh, for the people of Kambu. If you feel that you're going to fight it, you'll be wrong. You'll be doing injustice to the people of Kambu. Carry it. Push it on. We are going to back you up. We are leading. We have started. Follow us. Ile formula ambayo inatumiwa kugawa mali na kugawa pesa za inchi iweze kuangaliwa na irekebishwe kwa sababu wanazingastia sana ukubwa wa shamba kuliko idadi ya wananchi na tungetaka kila mtu agawiwe pesa one man one shilling ikienda hivyo hivyo ndivyo italeta usawa kwa ile formula inatumiwa saa hii 
haina usawa kama ini eh, atogoretie kiama na noa huko kiabu tuna muheshimiwa eh, shikiro uh, ari nominated kule kiabu na tuna muheshimiwa ogi a uh, leo tutikule kaida kanene kugati thinde wa presentation ya tore kireira kugati kiabu ni koretwo etigetwo na thutha maundu ini maingi muno uhoro ini